Hi, hello and welcome to XS4x4. Uh, today we're going to go through uh, the first batch of our uh, super powerful uh, magnets for Land Rover axles, gearboxes and engines. Uh, to help me demonstrate I have a nice lump of fairly heavy steel here um, and uh, we'll start off with our standard uh, unit which is proving immensely popular. This is a direct replacement for the sump plugs uh, found in the bottom of Land Rover axles. So basically there's two of these per axle. The standard item is non-magnetic from Land Rover, so it has no effect in pulling metal particles out of the oil. Bear in mind a lot of our Land Rovers are old and uh, the debris over the years will have found nooks and crannies. When you drive off down the road in your Land Rover and warm up the gear oil, it's basically a giant dishwasher and all that metal particles is doing damage to your expensive differentials. Uh, this is a direct replacement, these are about £12 each. We're not that registered, so there's no VAT. Uh, they are immensely strong. Uh, we tested this one uh, dangerously on, oh my God, <coughs> on my welding bench. Uh, these will actually lift about 15 kilograms before they shear. That means it's going to pull an immense amount of debris out. You normally find when you come to do an oil change, however scrupulously clean you are, there'll be a fir tree of metallic particles that you've salvaged from the axle. Uh, and that protects everything in there. So that's the diff plug. We've also got uh, a very similar plug um, and I've had these coated in a different colour and these are for the LT230. This goes on the back of the LT230 filler plug uh, which is just to the left of the uh, handbrake unit. Um, not quite as powerful as the uh, diff plug but you are replacing a non-magnetic plug with a very, very powerful magnetic plug. If you look at the engines, most engines have no form of magnetic scavenging. Um, people will say, well, you know, it's all full of uh, uh, bronze bearings. Well, actually, things like valve train, pistons, piston rings, crankshaft rotating, uh, there is a lot of debris of, of metallic particles in the oil. So again, what we've done here is replace this with one that we've made. Uh, these are passivated with another uh, powerful magnet in. These are for uh, V8 petrols and 200 TDI engines. Um, so you'll probably recognise this if you look at the bottom of your sump on your engine, if you see that it's one of these. Um, V8 petrols, 200 TDIs, defenders from 87 onwards, uh, Discovery 1s from about 1989 to about 1998, and the same with Range Rover Classics up to say 94, and also V8 forward controls have this, and some TVRs. Um, so we've replaced a knob magnetic plug with a magnetic plug. Again on uh, 300 TDIs we've made this. Um, we've made this um, a very long magnet because there's a very small surface area we decided to put a, a long um, powerful magnet in there so the surface area is increased. Again you're replacing a standard unit that has no magnet on it at all with a unit that has a very powerful magnet on it. All passivated, comes with a new washer. Uh, this is for 300 TDI, so again you're looking at Discovery 1s uh, from about 1989 to 1998. Uh, Defenders, uh, 1987 to about 2006. Range Rover Classics, these will be 1992 to 1994. And P38 uh, Range Rovers, uh, with 300 TDIs which I think are about 1995-ish. Uh, these come with a new washer, direct replacement, um, again replacing a knob magnetic sump plug with a magnetic sump plug. Now we've got uh, the plug here for um, a range of vehicles. The part number for this is LSF100040L um, and sometimes it's um, got an X on the end. Um, this is for Freelanders uh, 1996 to 2006 with the 2.5 uh, V6 petrol and also the 1800 K series petrol engine, the 2 litre diesel engine um, that covers pretty much most of the Freelanders. Then you've got the Range Rover P38 4 litre and 4.6s from about 1999 to about 2002. Range Rover Classics with the V8s from 92 onwards to about 95. Um, Defenders from 1987 to 2006. Um, and Discovery Series 1s, 1989 to 1998. Series 2s as well from 1998 to 2004. 
um, and Discovery 2.5 litre four cylinder 300 TDI diesels. Um, this will fit a wide range of vehicles. Again, have a look at this plug. When you see it in your sump, it's most likely going to be one of these. And like the others, this is a uh, magnetic plug with a large surface area replacing a knob magnetic plug and this is going to pull a lot of debris out of your engine oil. This one I'm particularly pleased of for various reasons. This is for Puma gearboxes. Um, the part number for this is either W701065 and the Land Rover part number is LR00500G. Now, in the standard uh, Puma gearbox, um, this on the end has a very unpleasant um, female torque screw. Um, and on the filler, which is halfway up the side of the gearbox, they are an absolute sod to get to. Um, that is, once you've cleared out all the muck and debris that's jammed in there, you've then got to wriggle up there with a torque screw and try and undo it. So we've machined these with a, uh, a socket head that you can put a spanner or a socket on. So it makes it much easier. This is the same part for either the filler or the drain. Again, it's got a long, uh, small magnet, but a large surface area. Um, and this replaces the standard unit, which again is non-magnetic. So these are available. Often these are bought in pairs because most people are repair replacing the filler and the drain, not only because it offers a magnetic solution, but because you've now got a decent head that you can actually get to. So there you go, if you want to protect your Land Rover and have cleaner oil and get rid of the uh, magnetic particles that are not going to do your engine, gearbox or axles any good at all, go to our website www.megasquirt-v8.co.uk or www.xs4x4.com and you'll be able to buy these on the web shop. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you find this of interest. Bye for now.